change what you do today. I want to change the way you think. Everybody's got a dream. Everybody's got a goal. What's the plan? And your plan has got to have something I call the C5 complex. Your plan has got to be clear, concise, compelling, consistent, and committed. You've got to have a plan. And when you're trying to do something that you're truly passionate about, there is no plan B. You know who has a plan B? Motherfuckers that lose. That's a fact, okay? Every single person that wins big, every single person that you look at, every single person that you're inspired by, every single person that you aspire to be like, they only have one mother plan, and that is they are gonna win or they are gonna die trying. All these people out there talking about, oh, well, if that doesn't work out, I'll just go back to this, whatever the f this is, which happens to be their miserable life they have now, all right? Those people always lose, and I'll tell you why. There's a real easy reason to understand. Because the people who go all in, the mother to burn the ships and leave themselves no other option but success, those people are dedicating all their skills, all their resources, all their energy into producing a specific outcome. And if you're competing against someone who's going all in with every resource they have, and you're only going half in because you're half in and you're half out, guess what? You're gonna lose. So you guys out there with your plan B mentality, you need to take that shit, crumple it up, and set it on fucking fire because all it's gonna get you is more of what you already have. I hate plan B. When you start doubting yourself, that's very dangerous because now what you're basically saying is is that if my plan doesn't work I have a fallback plan I have a plan B and that means that you start thinking about plan B and every thought that you put into plan B you're taking away now that thought and that energy from plan A and it's very important to understand that we function better if there is no safety net because plan B becomes a safety net. It says that if I fail, then I fall and I get picked up and I have something else that will protect me. And that's not good. Number one in your life's blueprint should be a deep belief in your own dignity, your own worth, and your own somebodiness. But we must keep moving. We must keep going. If you can't fly, run if you can't run walk if you can't walk crawl but by all means keep moving insanity you've seen this before is doing the same thing again and again expecting a different result i don't want to change what you do today i want to change the way you think if you wake up tomorrow morning and blame your failure on someone or something else you have no reason to change do you if you do tomorrow what you did today, you will get tomorrow what you got today. That is the definition of not growing. If you do tomorrow what you did today, you didn't grow, did you? Then you get tomorrow what you got today. You didn't grow, did you? The first step before anybody else in the world believes it is you have to believe it. There's no reason to have a plan B because it distracts from plan A. Stop! Telling your visions to other people because they're not going to see it. Why you think you keep imagining opening a business? Why do you keep imagining buying a house? Why do you keep imagining driving a really nice car? Why do you keep imagining getting rich one day? Why do you keep imagining that? Because God is talking to you. He's showing you something that he has for you.